This video is about Telewave passive intermodulation testing. Telewave tries to keep ahead of what's going on in the world of two-way radio, and uh, we got together a anechoic chamber here with cones to uh, absorb and prevent reflections and an antenna uh, tray and uh, proper cables for PIM, passive intermod uh, modulation testing. And it's a shield room from outside sources of energy so we can get a good idea how well uh, our antennas perform when properly designed for reducing passive intermodulation on power levels above, say, 20 to 30 watts, which are co quite common on many kinds of connectors. This connector is the DIN connector, and it doesn't have those problems near, nearly as much. What we have here to make this test is the Anritsu PIM Master MW82119B. And you can see in the background in the chamber is the uh, antenna that we're testing. It's important to clean everything before you put it together. And we're using a Q-tip, a uh, chem tip to do this with, with the appropriate solvent on it. So uh, you, you want to do this in the field when you install an antenna as well as when you're testing it uh, so that uh, everything works out okay. In addition, you also want to uh, take a wrench and put it on the base of this uh, connector on the antenna side and take a torque wrench on the cable side and torque this down to the correct torque value to where it just clicks over. After putting the antenna back in the uh, uh, chamber, we restart the uh, test procedure here and uh, it will start creating a time versus a level of the PIM here. And when we get done, we'll be able to look at the Average PIM, which is 156.7 over the whole area, and the peak was 154.7. We're going to try an in connector version of the antenna now. We use some adapters. We've already put the adapter on in this case, as you can see here. So I'm going to hit start again here. I've placed another antenna in the bo in the uh, chamber. And uh, we're seeing a minus 134 uh, dBc PIM value, a peak value of 132. And 91.4 dBm is the uh, level that that's coming through. So that's above one microvolt for sure. So it might be a little bit of a problem if you have something that's uh, more than a microvolt coming into your receiver, depending on where you have the squelch set. Every time this passive intermodulation between 758 and 803 uh, megahertz occurs. So that's why we're concerned about PIMS in, at this level. This happens to be a unit that does not meet PIM standards. So in summary, an anechoic chamber and screen room is used to isolate the antenna being tested from signals in the area. 20 watts of uh, 758 and 803 megahertz are fed into the antenna through a PEM rated uh, test cable and the PEM rated adapters are used if they're needed. And the frequency where the intermodulation could appear is monitored and recorded over time with a visual display of the levels in DBC, decibels below the carrier over time. The Anritsu instrument we're using also shows the levels in DBM or decibels below a milliwatt and should be below minus 107 dBm, one microvolt. 